what's up guys uh, today I'm making a new video and the topic is if you're facing this arrow on your old devices that could not create account then this video is for you so stick around for the solution if you're having this problem so <coughs> today I'm using excuse me iPhone 6 <coughs> and uh, I got lots of messages you know, in, the, in the comments that people are having problem to create <clears throat> an Apple ID on old devices such as iPhone 6. So today I'll show you how you can go around that problem and create an ID. So just to show you, this is iPhone 6. It's running software version iOS 12.4 uh, or something. <clears throat> it could be any old software and as you know that 6 can only upgrade to you know certain iOS after that he cannot upgrade that anymore so that's why people are having problem with that with those devices so when you create an ID, Apple ID or account you go here and at this point you click here and create an Apple ID So uh, unfortunately I have to go through all these steps so please bear with me because it's gonna take time. And pause it if you have to, skip it if you have to. But I mean if you know how to do these steps, go ahead and skip it. But I recommend you watch the whole video that way you're not gonna miss anything. So date of birth. And then next and then first name so you don't have to enter my information here and here it says uh, use your current email address or get a free iCloud email address so we're gonna get a free iCloud email address here you can enter you can make up your own like username so I'm gonna make okay and then you click next so in case if that username has been taken you will get an error here and it will tell you to change the username but in this case it says go ahead and now you have to enter a password and the password has to be you know strong enough like eight characters include a number and uppercase letter and a lowercase letter so let's give it a password Okay, enter the password. Now you have to answer three security questions. That's mandatory. You know, in case if you forget your ID, then you can uh, retrieve your Apple ID just by answering these three questions. So make sure you write down this information. So let's say the first question, my best friend. So what was the name of your best friend as a teenager? So I answered that question and the second one is what is your dream job? So you can answer according to your dream. And I'm just gonna write any Thing here and the question number three let's say uh, you pick the easy one what's the name of your favorite support team there you go so I support 
Raptors. Now you all know that I, I support Raptors. Anyways, so terms and condition, you have to agree to terms and condition and then agree again. Oh, so this is the error you get when you're creating an Apple ID or account. Could not create account, your account could not be created at this time. So this is the message get people getting on most of their devices when trying to create an account. And now I'm going to show you that how can you bypass it, this problem, and create your account successfully. So we're gonna go back, start all over. In fact, we can close this page. And so you have to go to App Store, okay? And uh, mind you, this is iPhone 6 and it's gonna be a bit slower than the other newer models. But anyway, App Store wants to access your location, allow it. So you this, you see this avatar here on the right? That's where you have to click. And here at the bottom you see it says uh, create new Apple ID. So that's where we have to click create new Apple ID. Now, again, we have to go through all that, you know, information, but this time I'm gonna put a little different information. So I'm gonna take my phone away for a sec. So I'll just, I'll be right back. Now, just to let you know, the information you enter here, especially your email, you gotta make sure that you have the password for that email that could be your Gmail or Hotmail or Yahoo, any any email account, because you're gonna get the you're gonna get the the you know the confirmation at this email, and you will have to enter the the code once they send you to verify that you are the original owner of this email. So I entered the email. Now I have to pick a password. So let's give it a password as well. Uh, Hopefully, this password. You must agree to the. Okay, so make sure you this toggle switch. You have to turn to the right. What the? And then you click next now a more complex password is required so this is the thing like you need to enter like special characters and all that so i'm gonna enter difficult one And make sure you write down this password because this is very important and you're gonna need it later on. Okay, so there you go. Now the password thing is done. Now you have to write down your first name and last name. So I'll write. Write down my first name and last name and date of birth. And then you have to choose your questions again. So the best friend name Question number two, dream job. And 
as I said earlier, I mean, if you think it's taking too long, please go ahead and uh, you can skip or fast forward it. But, but you know, unfortunately, I have to enter all that information that required in here. And your favorite sports team. And done. And then you click uh, next. Hopefully, no more errors. And here is asking your method of payment. Either you can add credit card or PayPal. But just to let you know, if you select this option, none, and then click next. Oh, but this is required, the address. So let me enter the address. Sorry, let me finish the address and I'll be right with you guys. So I've got the province. There's too much information anyway. And then you have to enter the phone number too. Okay, so, so I have entered uh, all the information. And then right away it says email verification. So as I told you earlier on, you know, the email you enter here, you gotta make sure you, you have the password to that email because you will need that, you know, the passcode for verification. So I have already logged in on my other phone and hopefully I received Okay, here it is, as you can see. Verify your, okay, so this is the code I need. 243932. 243, wait a minute. 3932. So 243932. Make sure you enter the correct code, 243932, and then you press verify. So after you verify this, you get this message, Apple ID completed. Now can be used to access all Apple services. So there you go, that was it. It was, I hope it was not too complicated. And uh, now you can go to App Store and you can download whatever you want. And you have your Apple ID, I mean, working Apple ID, but before it was uh, giving an error, and now you can see I can download whatever I want. YouTube, okay, let's download YouTube. So I just moved the phone away because I had to enter the password and I hope it's the right password. So once you enter the correct password and you, you click sign in, and then there you go. As you can see, it's downloading YouTube. But since it's iPhone 6, so it's gonna take a little longer than, you know, the newer phones. So, here it asks you require password for additional purchases on this device. I always check uh, the top one always require so nobody can misuse your you know Apple ID if someone has access to your phone they want him or her to download whatever they want. So that's about it. I'll just wait for this app to download and I'll show you that you know it works. And after that, I'll wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching the video. And if you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe it. Hit the like button if you think this was helpful because I got so many messages from the audience to make this video, but unfortunately I didn't have this phone. So I ended up buying an iPhone 6 just for the sake of this video. 
and I hope that you guys will like it. So for some reason it's downloading too slow. I mean you don't have to wait for it. That was it guys. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.